Hello, everybody. Welcome to episode 16 of All the Mods 9 to the Sky, where today, well, we finish up Blood Magic. Let's jump into this episode and see what we did. Jumping right in here, guys. I'm uh, going to start off with uh, some runes of capacity. Let's see here. We need... 14 of these. Yeah, runes of capacity, about 14 of those. And I'm going to make a couple more runes of sacrifice. The reason behind this, I'm not sure if you guys heard that or not. My phone, uh, my my, my computer was acting up there for a split second. Uh, I want to start off with uh, adding more storage to this. I think, I think this should be enough of uh, the runes of capacity. I think after this, the next layer down, we want the uh, runes of uh, augmented capacity. And a couple runes of sacrifice. Come up here, we'll see that, yes, indeed, this is still tier 4. And it can hold up to 5,000, or 58,000. I can... Um, so that's, that's still a good bit of capacity there. It's filling up its internal buffer. These have an internal buffer of, I think, I want to see like a thousand or so. So we're just going to whack these guys for just a little bit. Trying to fill that up. Uh, I also want to take these coal blocks here. Let's quickly change these into dusk runes. Uh, mostly because we have, <clears throat> we actually have a ritual that can uh, turn that up there. into earning us more x um earning us more uh blood or life essence than we currently are spending but we need the uh dusk ritual or dusk diviners for it so since we've got those done Let's uh, come over here, turn this Ritual Diviner here into a Ritual Diviner Dusk. Um, if I'm not mistaken, it used to be a Dusk and Dawn, but I think they got rid of the Dawn portion of it. We're going to need a couple of these imbued slates, I think it is. Or do we need the next tier up? <clears throat> ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. We need the next tier up. So, we need 30,000 in here. And we're going to turn this to do not allow these items. So, once we get 15 in here, right there, we can put our first imbued slate in there. And uh, after a uh, little bit, with our speed runes here, uh, we'll have it uh, turn into, there we go, a demonic slate. <clears throat> Let's uh, go ahead. 
let's go in here and uh, see if we can get. We got demonic will from this. Demonic will. Speed. Speed rune, which is uh, could be better. All right. Uh, blank runes. Blank slate. All right. We need to get the uh, 15 K in there for the other one. So give me a moment. I will meet you back at the crafting table. Okay, guys, and we're back. Uh, so the Ritual Divine Dusk. Uh, like the previous one, we get Tier 2 Rituals now. So let's see here. What quest do we get? Oh, some soul snares. Eh. Let's just accept everything here. Oh, we're going to have to manually come in here and accept these. Okay. Nothing, nothing too cool or, or needed. Uh, toss that down. Toss those in there. Uh, anytime I got will, I just toss it to the ground, pick it back up. It goes into the Tardic gem right there. <laughs> now, uh, one of the things I'm going to have to do for this is first clear this out a bit. Okay, so there we go. Now that that is somewhat cleared out and that slime is playing blocker for us. Uh, let's see if we can see up there and... How high up we can see the... Around. I'm not sure if this is going to be high enough up. Might have to tear this one down and redo it. So, what what ritual was it that I was talking about? Um, well, we have the Serenade of the Nether, Ritual of Full Spring, Crash of Timberman, Ritual of the Green Grove, which is a growth thing, which I'm happy to do, add over to our source jars uh ritual speed uh the sinner's burden not sure what that one does ritual of the high jump rich uh domain of the filler uh, okay follow the shepherd ritual of the shepherd ritual of the crusher Ritual of the Magnetism, Dawn of the New Moon, Resonance of the Facet Christmas, Reap of the Harvest Moon, Rhythm of the Beating Anvil, Ritual of the Satiated Stomach, Focus of the Ellipsoid, Edge of the Hidden Realm, Well of Suffering. That's the one we want. Okay, so let's look. Let's put out a master ritual stone and uh, so it's only too high. Oh, and one below it. So let's see here. Let me look up something real quick about the distance that that transports to. Okay, after looking it up, uh, we actually have the ability to place it here. And 
not too worried about this glass here uh, because as we built this uh, unable to replace a block at Let's see, four, three, two. Seventy-nine. Okay, one below us and four. Okay, so does this, ha do these all have to come out? <clears throat> it's been a while since I've done, done the ritual of uh, suffering. Uh, ten. Oh. There we go. And... Oh, are we literally too shy from this? Yes. Be right back, guys. Okay, guys. Uh, I came over here to get uh, more ritual stone. Which, very simple. Grab eight more. So it takes a uh, roughly, let's see here. I had a half, a, almost a half a stack on me when I made this. So yeah, it takes about a little over half a stack. And then we have our weak activation crystal. Uh, ritual energy runs through the crystals. And as we can look down here, we can see that this is getting XP, or life points. Now, it is using up our life points in our um, blood, blood network. So, like, if we pull this divine ritual off of us or divination you see that it is slowly going down now to prevent that uh, we can take an orb uh, any orb will do so we'll just go with the apprentice orb because that's our actually we'll go with magician's orb because that's our highest one right now <laughs> And we can just set that right in there. And that's absorbing life essence. Putting it back into our uh, essence pool. We can leave one in there uh, pretty much indefinitely. It's just going to eat up all of it, all of, um, all of it as it can right now. One of the things I want to do is to grab a couple things of dirt. Uh, and fix our uh, hole up in the upper area. Let's see here. Do we have regular dirt in here? Yes, we do. Okay, you see that this is empty now, so we pull this out. We'll take this magician blood orb out. You see that it is building it up and causing them to die and stuff. The good thing is witches are really good for life points. Uh, the reason why is they heal 
And every time they take damage, they uh, give us life points. So we're just going to knock those guys out. Gonna knock that out. Because, uh, yeah, I did mess up on that. And it's, oh, no, no, no. Uh, we're gonna have to go grab more dirt. Because this pickaxe is too powerful. Just grab this. We're gonna have to probably replace this all, uh, with more dreadful dirt. But that's okay. So now we've got full space back up here again, so we can uh, see this fill up. And um, yeah, we can just uh, we can just stick that right in there and just right click this. Watch our uh, essence build up. Uh, and. Once that gets done, give me a moment and I will be right back and we'll figure out what we'll do next. Okay, and uh, well, we have the ideal set up right now because uh, we've got glitches. But now, I'm just going to fix all those dirts that were no longer dreadful. There, now it looks like they're standing on sparkly purple carpet. Fitting for them. All right, uh, it's actually filling up faster than we can use it, and that's with additional seven more speed rooms, which is actually a good thing. Um, we're going to make this one real quick, and then we're going to make a new orb, uh, because our current orb, while it holds a lot, if you look there, you see those particle effects? And then they stop. Well, that's because our blood network is full up to the level for the magician's blood orb. So we need to now make the next tier of a uh, orb, which uses a weak blood shard, which shows you how to get with those guys. That's why we needed two of them. We get the master blood orb here. We bind it to our network. And now we can set that and sort a lot more essence into our thing. So we just got another ritual or another thing done. Uh, more blank slates. Holds a max of one million life points. There we go. So our, our blood network can go up to a million blood points. And now, if we actually stick these guys in here, this will be faster than uh, it uses. So, um, so now I'm gonna set this up like two for this match for uh, ritual stone. Okay. Uh, you want to change this over to the uh, pathway to the endless realm. If you notice right there, it, it gives the what it does. Summons an inversion pillar to go deeper into the demon realm. And okay, so this can actually go down onto the ground. Uh, how big was that? Let's see, one, two, three, four, we're gonna estimate five. Five, so a 25 area. Let's see here. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, one, two, three, four, and five. Three, 
four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, no, no. It's got to go over one more. As this starts building, we can actually stand on it and do this. We still have uh, ritual stones? No, we do not. So let's, yeah, we're, we're going to need a little bit more ritual stones. It's fine. Figured as much. While we're working on getting more reinforced slates right now. Make more ritual stones. Hopefully this is going to be enough. We've got 24 more ritual stones. Okay, it's done. It did not tell me it could not place any piece. So uh, we should be able to hit this with a weak one. There we go. We have the inversion pillar that goes deeper than that guy. Let's see here. Uh, I want to just... Once this gets done, I want to put the master infusion... Uh, master, yeah, the master orb in there again. So let's go deeper. Okay, so we start out with getting three more iron keys. So how good those are. Let's uh, turn off our belt. Okay, so let's look here, see if there's anything. Oh, some more, seven. Uh, let's start with this door, okay? We have zombies in here. guys uh, did I not bring a pick? okay I brought a pickaxe because we can break these and I won't go too bad want to look into all of these just for those maybe some gold fragments as well oh wow what the what the turn my back on a zombie and it killed me in a couple hits Oh, of course, you have axes. Uh, warp stem, iron fragments, maybe. Sulfur. I think sulfur is good for later on. The zombie flesh can go in there. What do these actually, these fragments do? They turn them into gravel, and the gravel turns into dust. You know what? We don't need these. Okay, so... Where is the thing that's spawning these guys at? Always investigate every room. Fully. Um, 
Never know when you find something useful. I'll probably have to come back here and grab some of this stuff, but uh, right now. Wow. This is so not my day. Uh, yeah, that's actually the last realm, and uh, you need it to get uh, raw demonite. So I want to get some raw demonite, and I will be right back. Okay, after uh, running away from something. No, 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 no. So I was saying, uh, after running away from zombies for a bit and killing as many of them as I can and taking out their spawners, uh, I found Demonite. Uh, so I was going to show you guys it. Give me one second to get back to the corpse. Uh, yeah, you can see how many spawners have broken there. These zombies are no joke here. You literally have to be on your A game the entire time down there. One last time. One last time. Trust me on this, I have died, like, easily 30 plus times in this dungeon. This, this dungeon is, like, pure suicide. Uh, I mean, suicide runs, like... The, the, the. All right, so there's the demon knight. We harvest it with our pickaxe. Uh, toss this frog and flush to the side. We get demon realm. can't remember how much of this we need, but I'm going to mine all of it that I can here. And, uh... Oh, I honestly would like a good bit of it. Because I uh, don't know how much of this we're going to need for the final one. We're going to have to look at the book once we get back to base. Uh, and I will meet you. Or let's let's just do it the quick way. All right, so waiting for this to stop lagging out. Toss all these uh, broken spawners up in there. Um, go at blood. Oh, there we go. The uh, sanguine. Sayatum. Uh, which, yes, I haven't read the proper thing. Tear of Slate's Blood Altar. Tier 3, Tier 4, Tier 5. Okay, so... 
Uh, to upgrade the blood altar to tier 5, place 15 blood runes. Uh, one block down, three blocks away from the previous set of runes along each edge. Leave a one block gap on either end to place the hell forged block at each corner. Hell forged block. Okay, so. So I'm going to have to go back in there and get eight, uh, at least 16 more for our final tier. So give me a moment while I uh, make some keys here in this and go back down there and look for some more. Uh, demonite and after a good bit more number of deaths and everything we've got i believe enough of this raw demonite uh also i've made the blink runes needed uh yeah this this is not a fun realm to go adventuring in Hmm. All right. Um So once those start producing, uh, let me take these out of here. And this can go right here. Uh, uh, I'm just hoping that this doesn't break this. Okay, it doesn't. So. Good way of getting some free, uh, smooth done, I guess. Only cost obsidian. This hasn't filled up yet. Yeah, going into that room, however, did reset that. I don't understand that. might be the way my server is set up for this uh okay so the book that's not the book i must have put it back in here uh all right i uh, this said that it is leave one block gap on either end okay so 15 in front of it um Place 15 blood runes, one block down, three blocks away from the previous set. So my guess is one, two, 15 would be here. So that's, that is seven, eight, nine. 10, 11. No, it's probably one more away. So, one, two, three. One, two, four. Okay. 
That's nine. How many? Okay, so there there we go. We we can visualize it and see it. I'll just set these blank runes right now here. Hopefully we have enough of these blank runes. Yeah, we, we should easily have enough of these blank runes. If all it's calling for now is the four remaining ones. We have 15 of these, so we can change 15 runes over there to a higher tier or to something else that we want. Uh, okay, so all of that is done. Oh, no, no, no. That blood, okay, there we go. We need to make these into the uh, Hell forge blocks. We went through hell to get these blocks. And uh, four. There we go. Tier five blood altar complete. We can see right now we're at tier five. Uh, so that means we can make the ethereal slates. This is the one we want. We want to mark this as a deny. Take one of these. Turn it into a demonic slate. Okay, so we got to give this enough time to get the mana for this. So I'll be right back once we get the mana. Okay, if my math is correct, we can put this in here now. It takes like uh, 35 blood points to turn a imbued slate into, uh, well, into a demonic slate, which gets turned into a ethereal slate. And uh, once we get the ethereal slate, yeah, that, that's pretty much it for blood magic. So we are done with the blood magic for now. We'll come back uh, once we need it some more. Just getting that all nice and set up was fantastic. So if you like this episode, hit that like button. If you haven't done so, share it with your friends who might enjoy it. Uh, it will help out the channel. Uh, if you're not uh, subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button. It will help out this channel grow a lot. And leave comments, tell me what you like, what you dislike down below. And until next time, later gators.